It's Abby, and I'm here to talk to you guys about creating a senior resume for colleges. So getting started, what is a senior resume and what is its purpose? In short, a senior resume is a document outlining your achievements throughout your educational career. These achievements can be anything from academic, like your honors in GPA and class rank, to athletics, like sports that you've participated in or clubs, and also skills are volunteer based like trade schools and NHS and key club and other volunteer based opportunities that you've been a part of both in and outside of school during your educational career. The purpose of a senior resume is to display your achievements for colleges, scholarships and their councils to look at. Now, to get started, you are going to want to have a basic template for your senior resume. This is the one that my school provided for me to go over in order to create mine. So you're going to want to title your page with your email address, your state and city. And if you have a URL to like a personal page that kind of goes more in brief with it, you could add that. I chose not to. And this just allows them to contact you and to know what area you are coming from in a straight in their face matter so that they see it right away. I also included my first and last name at the top of the page just to show them who owns the document and to remind them at the top that it is mine as sometimes emails don't specify names. So your first section of your resume is going to be your education. And this is kind of just like your background information that kind of is directly what colleges look at the most. It's the straight from your transcript information. And this includes the high school that you attended. So again, this is an example. So I don't go to this high school, but an example would be Santa Monica High School in Santa Monica, California. You're going to put the grade that you are currently in, and then you are going to put your GPA which is preferably gonna be out of a 4.0 scale since most colleges look at that. However, if you do go off of a different scale, it would be beneficial for you to note what kind of scale you are using and what kind of scale your state uses. And then also to include your unweighted if it is weighted. So if you have a weighted GPA, I would include both weighted and unweighted and specify which is which so that it's very easy for them to see. The next thing that you're going to mention in this education category is your honors. So this would include if you are part of any of the nationally recognized honor societies, which can be named for just the general national honor society. Then there's also um, foreign language ones and artistic ones. So there's ones for art, there's ones for Spanish, for French, and et cetera, moving on. And you should know whether or not you are a part of those as your school should have mentioned it earlier on in the year. Um, the last thing in the section is going to be the clubs that you are in. This is just kind of an overview. You'll later go into detail. So a nice little list is preferable for this. So for example here, they put the yearbook, the newspaper, and the Spanish club. And you're just gonna list all these, no brief descriptions or anything because that'll be later on. And then moving on, you are going to go under the major achievements tab. And under the major achievements, you're going to take your clubs, activities, jobs, sports, volunteer work that you maybe have mentioned before on a brief list, and you're going to explain them into detail. So you're going to want to list what you are a part of at the top, so for an example, your book club, your position on that event. So if you were a sport, you would say that you are a part of the team. If you were in a club, if you had like an executive position or if you were a member at large, make sure to note that. And then it's going to want to, for you to list how long you have been a part of that club. So it could be throughout your entire educational career. So this could be dating back to middle school, but it's best to focus on things that you have done in high school and recently. And so after you list the basics, you're going to want to go into detail about what you contributed and what that club entailed for you. So you're going to want to explain what you did, the major achievements that you contributed to in the club and your role. 
And you're typically going to want to put about three to four major achievements, even more if you have them, the more the merrier is what they say. And these are just some key focuses that really make you stand out to colleges. Okay, next section is going to be additional skills. This is going to be those skills or trade-offs that you kind of picked up along the way due to a class or a event that you attended where you learned it. So this could be anywhere from being CPR certified to being a swim coach to working for a big organization or a big group. And so this is just kind of what the college gets to know you by and what you're interested in. So for an example in here, they have a great photographer and you wouldn't usually think to put that on a college resume, but this helps us know that they're into photography and that they want to pursue that. And so this is just a good little section to put what you're interested in and to put the different things that you have learned and the different skills and trades that you've picked up over the years. And it's just a brief little thing. You don't explain it or go into detail. It's more of just a list. It can be explained if it's kind of hard to understand, but if it's straightforward like a photographer, it's better to just list it. Moving on, this is going to be our awards, honors, and honorary mentions category. This is going to be anything that you have achieved outside of the nationally recognized or state recognized things. So this is going to be awards specific to you. So if you won a state award for writing, or if you are top 10%, or if you are part of a program or you're an alumni of a big organization, then this is where you're going to put that. So all of those summer camps that you attended that were for academic reasons, all of those little awards that you've gotten for academic purposes, and even sports and athletics, this counts as well. So if, you, if your team was state finalists or something like that, that is another great thing to include in this because this is just something that you want the college to know, but you don't want to go further on an explanation. So this is just a list of all of your like major awards and honors that you've accumulated through your school, your state or nation that doesn't include a club being tied to it because the clubs would be listed in our first section as I went over. Okay, so now that we are done with your senior resume template, we are going to talk about the uses as to why even create a senior resume. And a senior resume is really used to apply for college. It's one of the things that they ask you to attach to your college applications along with your transcript because this allows them to see a very overview picture of what you've been a part of and what kind of student you are and how involved you are. Um, besides college, it can also be used for internships, scholarships, and programs within a college. And by that, I mean that if you are looking for an internship in your field of work, they are going to look at your resume and see what you have been doing and if you are a right fit for their program. For scholarships, resumes have a big influence as to who is being furthered along and more considered for a scholarship based on what you have to contribute to the school and contribute to your community. For programs within a college, resumes may be looked at for different clubs and different societies, like if there's an honors college or a volunteer-based college or some other academic program in your college that's harder to get into, they most likely will want a resume from you. That is a brief overview of your achievements. Another use is for on-campus work opportunities. So if you're looking to work on campus, kind of like the internships, but more focused staying on campus, this is another great way because if your resume is in there with a bunch of others, this is going to be a great way to stand out is to have a list of all of your accomplishments and have a detailed way for them to look at everything that you've done. And lastly, it's a record of your accomplishments throughout your education. So this is a great thing to always go back to and add onto as you go on and you do more things, because as you add to it, it's going to get bigger and more extensive and it's going to 
portray better to those who have to look at it later on. And you can always use your resume. You'll need a resume for when you graduate college and want to go get a job. You'll need a resume if you want to further your college past your undergraduate and go to graduate school. And you can really use your resume for everyday life. This is a sheet that goes over you in a nutshell, pretty much. So I really hope that you guys found this informational. And I wish you the best of luck with your college slash senior resumes. And I really hope that you guys use this to the best of your advantage. Thank you.